Welcome back summoners to Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays for Episode 169. We have a wide array of different styles of plays in this episode and at the end we're giving away a Nator keyboard thanks to our sponsor Phoenix so be sure to not click that browser until the end. Alright everyone you know I'm excited to get into things and I bet you are too so without further ado let's start this up with our number 5 play from Andro Meta 123 on Mordekaiser. Yup you heard me right. We see him pretty overextended, pushing top lane as Renekton dashes into his W and Lee Sin comes in to follow up. Mordekaiser tosses his ultimate onto Renekton, effectively giving him a shield to counteract the burn damage from Dominus. As he continues to kite, he works on keeping his shield up and then decides to flash away as we start to see him sidestep, expecting a Q from Lee Sin. He dodges it and turns to E, but then Renekton moves in and stuns, but he somehow manages to skyrocket his shield back up just in time to survive, and then take the kill on the Gator with barely any health left. Moving along into our number 4 spot, we have Captain Orca on Orianna in a challenger elo game. Right off the bat, we see blue team pushing to end the game, and with the friendly Morgana disconnected, red team has to somehow win a 4v5. After getting the first tower, red team knows they have to act fast as we watch the friendly Kha'Zix use his ultimate, scaring blue team away. He waits as long as he can for Orianna to respawn, and now the fight erupts as we follow the ball onto Kha'Zix as the shockwave goes off on 3 into a QW combo. The bug immediately jumps back in, dunking four members of blue team as they go into full retreat to try and minimize their losses. As the rest of the chase plays out, I wanted to tell everyone that this is why you don't give up. The friendly Morgana disconnected at level 10 despite the bug with low replay saying she disconnected at the start of this play. Right before the play they were just about tied in gold so basically red team had to straight up win a 4v5 with items being even on both sides. Now that's hard to pull off but they hung in there throughout the game, never gave up and well the rest is history. Our number 3 play switches gears from a late game teamfight into a mid game brawl with I Precure Eye on Yasuo. The play starts out with the friendly fiddles in a lot of trouble as Yasuo goes straight in onto the enemy blitz, securing the first kill and then moving onto the enemy Olaf for the double. Predicting bullet time, he cues Anna using his ultimate to teleport away, dodging the MF ult while bursting her down. Misfortune runs straight in but gets denied by the wind wall as he waits as long as possible before going back in, buying time for Nidalee's heal to come off cooldown, keeping him alive to score the quadra kill. Coming in at second place, we have Ride Feather with a sick play on Lee Sin under the tower. As soon as the play starts, we see he's in trouble as multiple enemy players prepare to dive him. He predicts from the waters and flashes everything last second and then turns and cues Lee Sin, but he jumps to the creep first and then lines up a brilliant double kick to somehow kill them both. We're gonna check that out one more time, but pay close attention to how many abilities he avoids with flash. Then he cues but decides to jump to the creep to try and dodge the enemy Lee Sin's E before going back in to bring him down. And then finally the beautiful two man ultimate to quickly finish Shen off while dropping Fizz low at the same time so that the tower can make it a triple kill. And for our number 1 pro play for this week we have Sin DJ on Thresh with an epic play in the bot lane. The enemy jungler is wrapping around the side to come in for a gank and then the enemy Janna pushes them back so now they're in a whole lot of trouble. As blue team focuses down Caitlyn, Thresh plays to buy some time and then runs up and tosses a lantern back, pulling Caitlyn out of a terrible situation. All of a sudden he turns and fires out the hook, pulling her into tower range and igniting as we see the friendly fiddles getting close. He flashes in to secure the kill and then ults Udyr allowing Fiddles to crow storm in and wipe him out, followed shortly after by the kill on Jinx for the turnaround 3 for 0 exchange. And for the bonus clip of the week we have Flame Tiger on Ezreal with an amazing ultimate to score 2 kills. As the rest of this plays on I wanted to go over how you can enter our Phoenix giveaway to win yourself a brand new Phoenix at Tour. We've been doing quite a bit of giveaways lately so I'll keep the rules to enter very very simple. All you have to do is like this video and like Phoenix's cover photo on their Facebook and that's it. There's a link to their Facebook in the description box down below so please head over there now and enter yourself to win this beautiful keyboard. The Ator is my personal keyboard and I've been in love with it ever since I got one earlier this year. It's worth every penny if you're gonna buy it and if you don't quite have the funds, well, it could only be two likes away. Thanks for watching everyone, I had a blast making this episode and I hope you enjoyed it too.